Hi there, we're the Honest Guides and what we do here in Prague, Czech Republic is when tourists come here and hang these love locks on historical sites, we cut them off. Also, they waste 20 euros for these love locks. And one day we came up with an idea. How about we turn these love locks or the money that people waste on them into something that you will not be able to cut away and your laugh will be attached to it forever. So we did a crowdfunding for a new bell and guess what? Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honest Bell, or as it goes by, the Bell of St. John of Nepomuk. As you can see, it's not as big, so to make it look bigger, we got the smallest car to drive it through Prague on. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Bellmobile. The Bell was made in Innsbruck. You can watch a video we made about it. And obviously from Innsbruck, it didn't come on this little car, but it came on a big truck. But then through Prague, we really wanted to show the Bell Prague and show the Bell to people of Prague. So that's why we're gonna drive it today, believe it or not, across the Charles Bridge, through Old Town, through Old Town Square, and to its final destination, which is the St. Havel Church, uh, where hopefully it will stay for, I wanna say ever, because when it's gonna be a couple hundred years, I consider that to be forever. And I guess off we go. <laughs> this is so cool, look at that dude. As you can see, a lot of people came because we made this a public event. Uh, so a lot of people showed up. I'm surprised how many people are going with us uh, eventually to the old town. The reason we stopped here is because the bell is named after this man right here, the Saint John of Nepomuk. And uh, Saint John of Nepomuk was also a priest in the church where the bell is going to be. Questions? No? Good, but we need like five minutes before we can start the car again. So give <laughs> I know this may seem like, what's the big deal? But riding a truck with a bell across the Charles Bridge for us is uh, something amazing. And that doesn't happen like ever. Like it's the first and probably the last time this is happening in our lives. That's why we're so excited. See the church behind me? That's gonna ring to welcome the new bell to the old town. Ladies and gentlemen, we are closing in on the finish line and I hope you can hear behind me the bells in the St. Havel Church are ringing to welcome its new brother into the house. and it's not the honest bell anymore. Now is the bell that belongs to this church. Thank you. Thank you for joining the parade. It's always a special event when a new bell is put up into a church, especially this bell into this church. 
So thank you, stick around, and then we can see meet each other in the nearby pubs. So the Bellmobile is leaving. It will now do its actual work, which is pull wood in the forest. So thank you, Lukash. And I guess now it's time to celebrate. But hey, do you want to ring the bell one more time? Let's go. I will be secretly sneaking into this church whenever it's possible to ring it. <laughs> and that's it. Actually, it's not, because I'm sure you noticed we did get the bell inside the church, but not inside the church tower. So there's still a long way up, and you may think that's easy, right? But hey, we don't got a money for some crane. We got to figure out how to get it from the inside to the tower. And the bell weighs 85.5 kilos, and there's like letters, and it's very tricky to go, go up there. So we still got to figure that out. So if you want to see the final step of the journey and our video about it, you can subscribe to The Honest Guide because we will be there with our camera. Thanks again to everyone who contributed. Thank you for watching. Thanks to the people who joined us today on the parade. I was crying. Were you crying? Eh, a bit. Uh, and I think this is epic, literally epic. So thank you again. And I'll see you next week on another episode of The Honest Guy that may not be about the bell, but maybe about something different that happens in this lovely city that we love. And a Czech word at the end obviously refers to the Bellmobile, which is a sick car. So in Czech, that would be kara. Sick car. Kara. <laughs> <laughs> Honest Bell! Thank you!